Hi, Madeline here from Sonic Bloom with a new episode of the Abon Life Insider Tips. And this time I want to show you different methods of how you can filter out or just filter MIDI notes in Ableton Live with stock devices. So essentially how MIDI notes can be filtered, not just in Ableton Live, is either by pitch or by velocity. I've already generated a MIDI clip with MIDI notes with a, quite a big range of notes going from A1 to C6 and then also quite a different velocity between MIDI notes. And so the easiest way how you can actually completely filter out, which means block anything that is outside of range for both methods is a MIDI effect rack. So we can just go to MIDI effects here and double click to add a MIDI effect rack. Then I'm going to click on chain, right click and create a chain. And then you can see here that there is a key zone editor and a velocity zone editor. And we can use both to block certain MIDI notes by either pitch or velocity. So I'm going to click on key here. And right now you can see everything is being passed through. And if I want to say block everything outside of C2 and C4, I can just set it like this. I'm going to turn this off so we can play the original. And when I turn it on, that you could see already that there's a display of which MIDI notes are played. And here you can see which notes are out of range and you could also hear that a lot of them were blocked, both the higher and lower notes. What is nice about using just an empty media fact rack with chains is that you can also go a lot more granular with what you want to block. So I could just create a new chain and say, for example, I want to block everything between so from C sharp four to B four as well, but from C five to C six, I want to let through again. I'm just going to take this out again and start with the new one. We can do the same thing, obviously for velocity. So I could say, okay, I'm going to limit this to all MIDI notes that have a velocity between 50 and 100 and everything else will be blocked. And of course we could go more granular again as well with just adding more chains. Just as a mention, the same key zone editor and velocity zone editor exist in instrument racks. So for example, if you have a use case where you would want, let's just quickly create this as a MIDI instrument rack. And so this is the first one. And now let's, for example, look for a bass. Let's just take this and I can just drag this in here. And now I could say that the bass is everything up to B1 and then from C2 upwards everything is going to be played by the arcade split and you could also do crossovers if I take this up here then basically we create a crossover in this range you can do crossover in MIDI effect racks as well Okay, so this is if we just want to block MIDI notes by pitch or velocity. But there's also ways how you can not block them, but basically make them be filtered and kept within the range in different ways. And for this, there are MIDI effects. So for pitch, it's obviously pitch. So I'm going to turn this to zero so that we're not changing the pitch at the same time. And then Basically, we can ignore this upper part here and the lower part is what we're interested in. So here we can set the lowest note that is supposed to be within range. So if we just go on with the same example, then we could start with C2 and then the range is in, in semitones. So we could say, okay, well, we want to go from C2 to C4, 
that would be 24 because 12 are an octave. And then the first mode that we've got here is block, which functions exactly like the media fact rack with the keyzone editor. Then next up, we've got fold. So basically fold folds the nodes that are outside of range back into the range. But something to consider with this is better if you use the scale mode in this case. I have scale mode on here in the set and also in the MIDI clip. So I can just turn this on for pitch, but I wanna show you what happens if we don't do this. Let me just record this here so it's easier to show you as well. And so I've got MIDI from set in the second MIDI track to the first one, so we can receive it. The track is already armed. And so here you could see that suddenly we have notes that are not within C major anymore because they've, they've got sharps and C major doesn't have any sharps. So this is obviously usually not something we would want. And so we, if you want to use fold, everything should be within your key. Then make sure that you turn the scale mode on for pitch as well. And now, as you can see, they're now back in just C major. The third mode here is limit. So limit actually works if your nodes are within range, because what it does is any node that is outside of the range will be made either the highest or the lowest node, depending on if like if it was outside of range because it was too low, it will be the lowest node that will play and otherwise the highest. So let me just record this. So you could see here now suddenly we've got uh, C2 repeated and C4 quite a lot of repeats because a lot of notes were outside of the range. We've got the velocity MIDI effect as well if you want to either filter out or filter to st for every note to stay within range and in terms of velocity. And so we can change this. We've got these settings here on the right and then the clip mode as well. Although operation can have an effect as well. So what this is for basically is velocity means the MIDI note on velocity, whereas relative velocity means MIDI note off velocity, or we could also set it to both. Most of the time it won't make a difference, but just in case you're not getting the results, might want to set it to MIDI note on. And so then we've got range and lowest again, which works the same way, just with velocity. So here we can set it to 50 for the lowest and let's say we want to go all the way up to 100 then we would add 50 on top to get to 100 but out low and out high also have an effect and you can see this here in the display so if i want only anything from 50 we got to set out low to 50 as well and since we wanted to have the range of 50, that would make 100, so out highest should be set to 100 as well for it to work. And you can see here that this is what it does. So if you want to completely block notes by velocity, we can just set it to gate, which is the exact same thing as block in pitch. And then the other relevant mode is clip. And um, clip basically functions like limit in pitch. So basically everything that is out of range will be made either the lowest velocity if it was too low or the highest velocity if it was too high. Yeah, that's it. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Until then, bye.